The best Lehigh Valley sports, music, and everything in between is only on the Surface Electric Network. Tuesday, January 24th, the Allen High School community will come together and usher in a new class of Hall of Fame inductees. Their Wall of Fame class will include Mara Herzog, Scott Cooperman, Jeff Moyer, and George Wary. They will make up the class of 2023. It'll happen uh, prior to their basketball game with Whitehall High School. Unfortunately, we could only get one of the uh, four inductees uh, in with us, but he is certainly a great spokesman for Allen High School. It is George Wary. George, first of all, congratulations on being inducted into your school's Hall of Fame. And I know it's a great honor for you. You, you, you played there back in the late 60s. You came back to serve as a coach in the 80s. Uh, what was your reaction when you found found out they were going to honor you and put you into the Hall of Fame. Well, it, it, it's great to be recognized, you know, and you sit back and uh, maybe everyone forgot. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to know they yeah. don't forget, right? Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's a great honor. And uh, like I said, it's always nice to get recognition. Yeah, it sure does. And now you're still involved in the game. You're still an uh, assistant football coach up there at Parkland and the mm -hmm. uh, younger organizations there. But, you know, what does it mean, I mean, to, to be inducted into your school's Hall of Fame? And, uh, you know, what kind of memories did it bring back for you back to the late 60s when you were playing? Well, you played for Fritz Halfacre and, of course, uh, Frank Rocco then yep. for the only year that he was there as the head coach. Yeah. Well, you know, it goes back to uh, even when I was in elementary school and uh, one of my buddies, his dad used to take us out to the stadium to watch mm -hmm. the games. I and, remember it. I remember uh, it. My neighbor was a guy by the name of Dick Brobst who uh, was buddies with Larry Seipel. So I got to, to meet Larry Seipel, who, of course, played on the only undefeated NFL Super Bowl team, there, Super the Bowl Dolphins. champion yeah, Miami yeah, Dolphins. Yeah. And uh, so there were, you know, I'm small potatoes compared to a, a lot of the, the guys that I looked up to, really. I mean, there's uh, just in our neighborhood, I was fortunate enough to grow up in a great neighborhood in Allentown at 10th and Washington Street. Mm -hmm. And uh, like, times. I, yeah, I, like I said, Dick Brobst, uh, Mike Mess was uh, an All-American out at sure. uh, Arizona State. Uh, there were, you know, I leave guys out, but there were Kenny Cressman was a great athlete. You know, we looked up. You, to had, all. The, you had kind of the same upbringing that I did because I have those same kind of memories. Sure. We're gonna we're gonna bring those memories up as our show continues. But uh, our George Worry again, congratulations, uh, uh, Allen High School Hall of Fame again. Maura Herzog, Scott Cooperman, and Jeff Moyer, uh, the other uh, three who will be um, uh, joining George in the uh, upcoming Hall of Fame induction. Uh, Boy, the late 60s, football was great in the, in the oh. city. Now, you, you were sharing with me prior to coming on, you actually played in Thanksgiving Day games against Liberty. Yep, but when I was a sophomore, uh, I was on the varsity, and uh, we played Liberty twice a year. Mm -hmm. We played them during the season, and then we played them on Thanksgiving. That was my sophomore and junior year. And then my senior year, we played on Thanksgiving against uh, Dira. It was the first of uh, three straight years. Yeah, we would, yeah. Would play on uh, Thanksgiving, and then ironically, they got away from it after that three-year run. And then when you came back in the late '80s, yeah, they, they brought as, it back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. We, uh, when I was a coach there, we played uh, the three years I was at Allen as head coach. We played on Thanksgiving against sure. Dira. Yeah. Sure. You had a football scholarship to go to Arizona State University. Didn't quite work out there, but you were able to rebound and played three really great years at Kutztown University. How did Kutztown kind of revive you and get you back on the right path? Well, I uh, work. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I went out and it was. I it went was, out right? in the real world and worked. <laughs> and uh, I knew I, uh, I did miss playing, and uh, I wanted to be a coach. I always wanted to be a coach. And at that time, you had to be a teacher to be a coach. Uh, you couldn't work, you know, have a separate job That's and then, uh, That's correct. Uh, be a coach. So I, uh, I went to Kutztown, and, uh, you know, we were pretty we were successful out there, and I, I enjoyed playing. And 
Yeah, you were an all-conference performer, both as a defensive back and yeah. a quarterback. Yeah. You, yeah. you played quarterback earlier in your career yeah. and then switched. Be, but that had to do uh, with a coaching change as well, correct? Yeah, that did, yep. Uh, Bob Mazie was our head coach my sophomore year, and then George Baldwin came in, and George Baldwin, you know, became a legendary coach at mm -hmm. Kutztown. So I went to the defensive side of the ball, and, you know, I was fortunate enough to play and you know, gain some honors, but uh, any individual honors in a team sport is, you know, Especially it takes, in the sport of football. Yes. Right, yeah, right, It takes right. 22 legs to uh, score a touchdown. <laughs> and, uh, so, yeah, yep. you still have those uh, coaching cliches. George, uh, three-year starter in Allen High School from 1967 to uh, 1969. That was back in the Big Five, Big Seven Conference. He was the first Allen quarterback to pass for over 1,000 yards. Uh, in school history, and that's saying something at Allen High School, uh, he was the Allen Athlete of the Year. He played in the Big 33 game. You were a starter at defensive back. Yes. Who were some of the other guys that were in that Big 33 game that year? Uh, well, probably the most notable was uh, John Capaletti, who won the Heisman that's Trophy. That's a pretty good one. <laughs> yes, yeah, pretty good one. Uh, there were uh, a lot of really good uh, football players. Uh, from the area, we had, there were five of us that played on the, there was uh, uh, John Smyrta. Uh, John was a Duroff guy? Yeah, yeah. Froggy Williams uh, from Central. Central. Catholic. Uh, Froggy, Carl, went to, Froggy went to Penn State. Yeah, Smyrta yeah. Smyrta went to Ohio State. Yeah. Uh, Carl Andreas went down to, uh, he was from Sladington, mm -hmm. Northern Lehigh now. Uh, he went down to Clemson and played. Uh, Tommy Donchez. You know, great football player, tough guy. Uh, Tommy had a shot with the Buffalo Bills. For yeah, a while he he after, uh, after Penn State. Tommy Donchez and uh, uh, Hartenstein. Mike Hartenstein. Mike Hartenstein were 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 big and yet so fast. <laughs> you know, it, it was just amazing. They're more like today's uh, today's. More like today's. Yeah. I I couldn't outrun the today's <laughs> athletes. You know, that was the big thing as a quarterback. At least you could outrun them. But well, if you were anything like me as a uh, as a quarterback, I didn't. Speed was not a forte. I couldn't outrun the tackles and the guards today. Oh well, yeah, <laughs> that yeah. That could create a problem. No, no, I saw you play. So hey, you're speak, speaking of being speaking humble. of now versus then, I mentioned the Big Five and the Big Seven. The Big Five. Yeah was Alan Deeroff, Freedom, Liberty, and Easton, and the Big Seven then yeah. tacked on Pensbury and the Shaman. Yes. What are you, any vivid memories from uh, those playing days? I know one of the things I remember as a, a player over at Deeroff High School was going down to play Pensbury and the Shaman. That was quite an experience. Yeah, yeah they, uh, they, had, uh, they had some really good athletes, and it was always, uh, there were always tough games, but I'll be honest with you. <coughs> Playing football back then, uh, we had tough practices. We had tough, very knowledgeable coaches. Uh, they cut players when I played. They did indeed. That's in, right. In order to make the team, you had to make the team. Right. That was uh, the first goal of the year. Yeah, just to make the team. And, uh, you know, even besides those uh, big five and big seven teams, you go down to Peaberg and... Uh, Man, you knew you were in a football game. We were fortunate enough to beat them my senior year. We, we went for a two-point conversion and made it. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was great. It, it, was, it was really fun. And, uh, you know, we just played. You know, I, I don't know how to express that, but we just played. We weren't worried about, you know, you said passing 4,000 yards. I didn't even knew that. Mm -hmm. I didn't know I was the first one. Mm -hmm. I mean, you had guys like Joe Petro and that kind of stuff ahead of, uh, ahead of me that we looked up to. Mm -hmm. We just played. And it, it, hopefully we won. Friday nights in Allentown at J. Bernie Crumb Stadium. Of course, it's called J. Bernie Crumb Stadium now. Allentown School District Stadium were indeed an electric atmosphere. That is for sure. George Wery is this week's guest. We'll talk more with George in uh, just a moment. Uh, celebrating the upcoming Hall of Fame induction at Allen High School. George Wery is with us. The other three members of the class of 2023, Moral Herzog, uh, graduated sc having scored 1,200 career points. At that time, it was the most for an Allen girl back 
basketball player and now is currently second. She was a part of the 1981 state championship team under, of course, Hall of Fame head coach Lou Sabler. 11 varsity letters for her, Scott Cooperman, athletic director for 21 years, and Alan Grad, Muhlenberg product as well. Served as a baseball and football coach. He was an assistant to Gene Yanni for uh, four years on that baseball program that was one of the best in the area. And, of course, the late Jeff Moyer, who was an Olympic weightlifter and started the Allen uh, powerlifting program. And, George, you had a uh, little uh, history with Jeff Moyer. He was yep. ahead of his time when it came to that weight room. You're talking about yep. our era. The weight room really wasn't no, the thing no. then. Weights, but uh, he, made it, he made it a thing to do. Yeah, weights weren't a big deal, but uh, Jeff... Uh, started a weight uh, powerlifting team there at Allen, and when I was the uh, head football coach, he was, you know, he took over that uh, mm -hmm. part of the program, and uh, yeah, he, he did a nice job. Yeah, yeah, yep. he was uh, considered to be a pioneer in that, so certainly a great honor coming up for him. Have to ask you about the current state of the National Football League. When you turn on the TV and you see guys like Saquon Barkley and you see Jahan Dotson, uh, Kazir yeah. White, we're going to see two members of the East Penn Conference playing Saturday in Philadelphia in the NFL playoffs. Uh, what, do, what do you attribute that kind of success to the kind of players that we're producing right now here in Lehigh Valley? Uh, well, I think there's always been great players come out of the Lehigh Valley. You're right. Lehigh you're right. Valley, and uh, these, uh, these two are, are pretty exceptional. <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> uh, God, God was good to them. Yeah, I'll you say. Know? And... Uh, but I'm, I'm sure they worked hard, and uh, you know the, the weight room probably made well, a, huge, you know, a, a, huge. A, a big difference. Uh, but yeah, they're they're just outstanding athletes. And yeah, that touchdown run that Barkley had the other yeah. day—you could just see the yeah. tremendous lower strength, and he made a name for himself up at Penn State oh, yeah. with his squatting and the, yep. oh, the yeah. weight program. Very, That's very for strong. Sure. Yep. Jahan Dotson in Washington, and of course Kazir White uh, serving as a linebacker. Uh, for the Eagles, uh, has the family uh, Grant is uh, uh, following yeah. in Dad's footsteps? Well, he's a yeah, coach, he's, huh? uh, he was he was coaching basketball and uh, then got into coaching football, mm -hmm. and that's uh, in his head now. So yeah, that's he's, a good thing. Uh, well, he's got a guy yeah, he can refer well, to, right? Well, I, I guess I don't I don't know. <laughs> You have to have ask, to, I have to ask <laughs> you about that. Yeah, I have to ask you about the 2002 basketball season. What was it like as an Allen grad to watch your son be part of that magical run under head, then head coach Doug Snyder? This would be the first district title that he would win, and it was yeah. an improbable one. The regular season wasn't good to you guys, and all of a sudden the tournament came yeah. and you caught fire. How, how? They had to win a, a, a couple games at the end of the every, season. Every just game to make was a the, must yeah, win, that's uh, right. Was, every yeah. game was a must win. Right. Um, you know, they, uh, yeah, it was amazing. It, it was really exciting for the, his, my, his dad. You yeah, know? I'm and sure it was. I was, uh, Grant was referred to as my son, but then at that time I was referred to as Grant's dad. See, <laughs> see that's how it so, changed. So, that's he, how it changes, right? He, 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 uh, yeah, he, he made, uh, Made the old man proud. Yeah, that's for sure. Retired as a teacher in 2012, social studies at Allen High School, but you continue to serve as an assistant coach. You're up there at yeah. Parkland uh, in the freshman program. How yeah. much longer do you keep your hand in it? Till I die. Okay. Yeah, or someone tells me I'm dead. <laughs> uh, but, you know, Amos Alonzo Stagg was a head coach until he was 84 years old mm -hmm. and then became an assistant. So he was 96 and died at 102. So that's what I'm shooting for. I'm not going to give away any ages. George, yeah, uh, yeah. George Wary. <laughs> hey, you and I share another thing, too. We both had our hand in the hot dog business for a while. You had that food truck. They were very, very good, your hot dogs. Yes, dog. yes, they were. <laughs> that's what they you were wary dogs. They were very, <laughs> very good. <laughs> George Wary is going into the Allen High School Hall of Fame. We congratulate him along with Mara Herzog, Scott Cooperman, and Jeff Moyer. Ceviche.